Hi, it's Kat. I've got Donny here with me as well. How are you doing this afternoon? Hey, how's it going? Doing, doing quite well now. Awesome, awesome. Where are you at the moment? Uh, the moment uh, is about midnight here in the States. I'm in the States. And we finished uh, an aisle rehearsal like uh, three hours ago or something. Uh, it's been uh, two crazy weeks for us. Uh, next week we're, get, we're getting in the studio, so we practice like all the songs in details right now. So, you know, it's one of these moments, you know, with a headache every day. <laughs> <laughs> the new album is very, very, um, I don't know, it's difficult to play, to count, and, you know, we're, we're pushing it very much. So we'll see. We'll see. Very excited, though. So you are coming to Australia for a solo tour and doing drum clinics in march have you got a nile tour before that in america no we don't actually i'm finishing the album next week we're getting in the studio so probably around uh, the 25th or something of february i'm going to be back home for four days <laughs> <laughs> and then i'm heading to australia so there is no time for a nile tour anyways oh. uh, the guys will be busy with guitars and stuff i think there is a possibility to do a south america tour in uh, May. Then we have nothing scheduled till September where we have a European tour with suffocation. And uh, we already talked about Australia, I think, uh, somewhere around March next year. The oh. album is going to be out in June, so summer is off. Basically, we start from September, you know, and we're going to have a European tour, a US tour, and then possibly Australia. That'd be fantastic. On the, the finished album stuff, I've been sort of following um, your, your solo project. This has sort of been happening on the side there as a bit of a hobby. It, it hasn't quite dropped yet. I haven't quite got it all, all finalized off yet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, actually, the album is finished, and I was listening to it like a, a while ago before you call. <laughs> yeah. um, everything is finished, and as I promised, you know, this is like a... It, it is a hobby, mm. as you said, you know, but uh, I put so much work in it and uh, there's like 15 songs ready to go online. I get some amazing comments, which uh, I'm very happy because this is like a really important, you know, chapter of my uh, my life. You know, it's, it's an album. I'm playing everything there. I sing, write all the music, you know, lyrics, everything. The album is going to be free as a free download, but, you know, everybody's pushing me to actually uh, release print CDs, you know, mm -hmm. CDs, vinyls and everything. And uh, I don't have the time to do that. So <laughs> I thought about, you know, maybe contact a few labels and maybe some of them will be interested, you know, to uh, release it as a CD. So finally, all three of them, which I contact, you know, they wanted to release it. And uh, finally, I got a contract, which I can't tell you right now, you know, which label it is, but uh, it's a big one. Mm -hmm. And I'm waiting actually for their move. Uh, when they say OK, which probably is going to be like another 15 days, a month, maybe, you know, the album is going to be online. Right. I think you can tell us. We won't tell anyone. I'm joking. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I'm really, really proud to sign with these guys because they agreed to release the album. Although, you know, since I promised, you know, to, the, to my fans, you know, it's going to be out for free. You know, I can't take it back and I don't want to take it back either. But they agreed to, they were like, you will like it. We will release it anyway. So I'm like, wow, right. that's awesome. That's pretty that's obliging of them, yeah. So, but then they're going to release it and it'll be, I guess, free online. But if you want a hard copy, you'll have to pay for it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is very modern move and very fair, you know, to the fans. I mean, either way, you know, all the labels, the stream, all the shit, you know, it, you know, people will listen to all the albums, blah, blah, blah. So they can judge. That's for sure. So we pretty much, we just take it another step, you know, like, you know, you download it, listen to the album. If you like it, you buy it. If you don't like it, then, you know, it's cool. But I think I'm very positive people will like this album because, I don't know, there is, there is too much love in this album, you know, like so many years I had it in mind and uh, I've been working on it for uh, one year uh, in between breaks, you know, of tours and stuff. So I think, uh, and what I've seen, you know, from the comments so far, I'm, uh, I'm very happy. If yeah. it's anything like the demo tracks I was listening to off your site, it's going to be incredible because the sound there is just huge. Thanks, man. Awesome. Can I actually ask, like you said, you, you're singing on your solo album. Is this the first time that you will be actually providing vocals? I used to do that back in the days with my, my first band, which the name was uh, Extremity, Extremity Obsession. And that was a uh, 92 to 98 or something. And I used to actually play drums and sing at the same time. Yeah. And um, then I joined another uh, Athenian band, very famous Athenian band, uh, they called Nightfall. Mm -hmm. And I used to do back vocals. Right. But, you know, then I kind of quit the vocal thing, which uh, it's not my thing anyways. You know, I'm, I'm a drummer. 
<laughs> and uh, with Nile, anyways, you know, there is no time to sing. There is no room to think about, you know, anything else than drums. But um, I don't know. And pro- probably, uh, you know, I never being asked. So otherwise, you mm-hmm. know, I would do some vocals maybe. I don't. I don't think of myself like a, you know, as a vocalist to be mm-hmm. honest. Neither as a guitar pl- a guitar player. Although I play guitars, uh, guitar for uh, more years than uh, I play drums, but uh, I just feel I'm a drummer that you know can write some songs. That's enough. <laughs> well, I was going to say to call yourself a drummer is probably an understatement. <laughs> uh, so, and you, you just said you've been playing guitar longer. So, how, like, when did you start playing drums? How old were you? I was twelve. Oh. I actually was ten, but I got my first drum set when I was twelve. You were playing drums before you had a drum set. Did you? Were you just tapping on the table with pens or something? Uh, that too, but uh, I had some amazing uh, buckets <laughs> that I was using back then, uh, you know, listening to Metallica and, you know, have all the buckets in the shape of a drum set and stuff. You know, I know it sounds funny, but that was my f- really, my real first steps in music. I mean, I was making music seriously. And then, you know, my parents saw that. They were like, okay, this guy's nuts. You know, we've got to get him a drum set or something. Yeah. No, well, actually, it doesn't sound funny. That's actually seems to be the way the best people come about. And it sounds to me like you didn't actually have lessons that everything you know, which is a lot, is <laughs> self-taught. Yes, yes. I got my first lessons from a, actually a private teacher, which uh, he's one of my best friends even today and always my mentor. You know, he's uh, one guy that I trust, you know. But I got the first lesson with uh, Yanis Stavropoulos, that's his name. After like 10 or 11 years and I was already on a level that I, I could, you know, play live for Death, you know, Victory, More <laughs> Angel, and, you know, these bands. So, yeah, basically I had to, I had to learn all the stuff by myself, which was uh, pretty sad <laughs> compared to, you know, I mean, I see, I see young kids today, you know, they just turn on YouTube and, you know, they, they, they have all the education right there. You know, they can see everything you do, and uh, which is cool for them, you know. I wish we had it when I was 12 or something or 16. But on the other hand, I think have to, you know, when, when you go to the to that process that you have to listen to the song and hear what's going on, you know, kind of actually helps with your uh, musicality, okay? Uh, so it's kind of like you don't go with a shortcut. You go with a real thing, which takes, of course, like five or ten more years, you know, but... Uh, at the end of the day, you you have a little bit more musicality. Like you know, you can you, you get into the music a little bit better. Just to say it more simple. Yeah, it's sort of like training your ear to it and getting a feel for for how a song is sort of put together in a, in a more exactly. down to down to earth way. But um, you mentioned earlier that um, Metallica were one of your very early sort of your heroes. So so Lars Ulrich obviously would have been a big influence in those days. But I was sort of thinking, um, who are the drummers these days that you're really excited to see when you? When you're out there listening to your music, who who sort of gets you excited to keep playing and keep striving to be better? Man, there are so many. Seriously, <laughs> there there are so many great players out there. It's insane. You know, some of the you know new generation drummers, you know, younger guys than me, like on their thirties or something. You know, like amazing players, jazz, funk, metal, whatever. You know, mm-hmm. Dave Halley, You know, my good friend from Australia, which uh, we have this clinic thing together. You know, he's uh, also one of my favorite drummers and a very long time friend. Mm-hmm. You know, I started, you know, with Lars Ulrich, Pete Sandoval, all these great drummers. Pete Sandoval, he's no longer in Morbid Angel. They have Tim Young right now. He's also one of my favorite players. Derek Roddy, you know, I, I, I can tell you names like till tomorrow, <laughs> you know, too many. Can I ask how it feels to actually be someone that other drummers and that aspire to be? Are they? <laughs> I don't know. I just... It's awesome. It's awesome. And this is why I like doing these clinic tours and, you know, clinics in general or, you know, workshops where I spend all the day with the students because I, I really believe in the instrument. I really love the instrument. I grew up pretty much my whole life, you know, I've been playing drums and I would like to see more great players, you know, to coming out. It feels awesome. Although, you know, I, I mean, I'm just, I just feel I'm one of these guys that, you know, playing their instrument and enjoy what they do. So it's, it's way more simple for me. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I see you actually do have a number of, of clinics where you'll probably be just showing people what you do and maybe signing autographs and answering questions, but then you do have a couple of intensive workshops which are from 10 yes. till 5. Yeah, this is going to be awesome because, uh, I mean, the clinics are great and I always enjoy clinics, but <laughs> for the workshops, you have to you have to spend the whole day, you know, like seeing, for example, like from 10 o'clock to uh, 6 o'clock or 8 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, in the evening, you know. So basically you spend the, f- the full day with like 15, 20 students. It's a big class. It's a very serious situation, you know. Hmm. And uh, you get into more details. You train them and, you know, you talk to them. 
possibly we'll have some beers after you know the <laughs> the day's uh, done. You know, yeah. sounds like something. Things people, gonna be awesome. Yeah, definitely want to get onto then those intensive workshops. What can people expect at these full day intensive workshops? Like, <laughs> what sort of things are you going to be? Te- and you said there's two of you who are actually doing those. No, yeah, these actually it's, uh, it's only me. Uh, Dave Halley's going to join me for the first two clinics in Brisbane and uh, Sydney. And that's it. We we did the last tour with Dave Halley. You know, we, we did five shows, uh, Brisbane, um, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, and Perth. Right. But this time he's uh, joined me for only two. For the full day workshops, uh, it's going to be a long day for everybody. It's going to be information about technique and all this stuff that, you know, you can possibly ask a few or see a few things, you know, on, on a regular clinic. But um there's so much more, you know, to, to ask and uh, learn when you do like the workshop, the full day workshop, because, you know, you, it's, it's you, you know, the student and the, the teacher, you know, the artist, whatever, and you, you can ask whatever you want. And you can, he can see firsthand what you do wrong, what you do right. And you can ask questions about, you know, music in general and, and all this stuff, which for me to have the opportunity to talk to a professional drummer and ask things outside technique and stuff, I think it's way more important, to be honest. Yeah. about you know tours and music business and how to promote yourself and you know how to practice the, the mental the mental thing like everything everything it's uh yeah we need like a month of talking you know <laughs> just to uh to get you know whatever they need but yeah it's gonna be i think it's gonna be fantastic and uh the clinics are gonna be great as well and uh, i have also a special clinic in melbourne which is uh separated in two different ones one is gonna be playing nile songs and the other day i'm gonna be playing you know my solo stuff yeah. so it's gonna be two clinics actually oh you yeah, actually yeah, you're in three days in Melbourne. You've got your intensive workshop on the 8th of March and performing Nile songs on the 9th of March and then your solo stuff on the 10th of March. Yes, and before the clinic of 10th of March, uh, I will find some time to uh, head to the Phillip Island. You know this, right? Yeah, yeah that'd yeah. be great. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, a very addictive MotoGP fan, so I have to go there. Yeah, I'm going to go there. If, the, if they rent bikes, I'm going to rent a bike. Yeah, well, you, you'll have them last. I'm pretty sure they do. If the clinic uh, that afternoon doesn't happen, you know why. <laughs> you know where to find you. Yeah. You do actually, you're starting off in Brisbane on the 4th of March. And yes. I should tell people at this point that you can be found at georgecolias.com. Exactly, yeah. And you are yep. George Colias official on Facebook as well. Yes, yes, which I manage a page and I, I post everything there. My email is available, you know, on the Facebook and uh, website as well. So whoever wants to get in touch, you know, they always can. Is there anything without, you know, seeing people face to face, if someone asks for some advice as a drummer, what would you tell them? Well, the advice is very, very simple. And this is why I, what I always say, you know, I mean, if you really like this instrument, you're going to be the best. All you have to do is enjoy it. Okay, because I hear people saying like, yeah, I worked hard and I sacrificed so many years of my life and I never actually, I read this all in all interviews, you know, from uh, famous musicians. I'm like, you sacrifice 10 years of your life or 30 years of your life, do what? Like having fun? Doesn't make sense to me, you know? I mean, for me, it's very simple. I mean, you know, if, if you really enjoy the instrument, this is why I feel like very fortunate, you know, to, to have this job, you know, I travel around the world and, you know, play drums. This is awesome. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little bit difficult for example, now we record a new album and uh, we we really, really, really working, you know, very hard. But this is like the, my, my stress process, you know, like deliver the best album we can today. And then, of course, for the next two years and a half or something, we go out, you know, tour and, you know, contact, you know, have a contact with our fans and enjoy the shows and that's it, you know. But this period, the recording period is always very stressful. Still enjoy it, though. There's always something worthwhile at the end of it as well. You've got something to show and something you'd be proud of. Yeah, well, the album is something like, you know, it's going to be printed and it's <laughs> going to stay in history. Yeah. This, you know, a show can be bad, can be great. You know, if it's bad, you're like, okay, f- you know, okay, next day is going to be better. That's what I say. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, when you do a CD or something and, you know, there are so many thousands of fans expecting, expecting you to do the best you can, you know, you, you can't really sleep at night, you know. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, but it's like I said, it's still cool. You know, I enjoy it. It has been absolutely brilliant talking to you. Thanks uh, so much. Same here. I will tell people again that you are georgecolias.com. dot com. George, awesome. George Colias official on Facebook, and people can go to Nile Catacombs on Facebook to see your band Nile or find out more about it. Awesome. Thank you very much. You have been really Cheers. good to talk to. Absolute pleasure.
Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you in Australia. Okay. See you very soon. Thank you. Bye. Take care, George. Cheers. Bye-bye.